Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is May, and in this video I will redo the face up of this 60cm boy that I recently got from Aliexpress. As you can see, there are several options for the hair, but I decided to purchase the long hair one since I like metal head guys. My goal for this doll is to make him look more masculine, and adding a bit of facial hair might help with that. His price was 24 Canadian dollars or 18.5 American dollars, and his head came separate from the body. His hair is very thick and luscious, which makes me very happy. His forehead is huge though, so he will have to wear a toque or a beanie. His body is exactly the same as the previous 60 cm doll that I painted before, except that while the other one came a bit dirty, this one came with a few scratches. But since he's going to be all dressed, that doesn't really bother me. I don't think these bodies are meant to be displayed anyway. As always, I open up the head using an exacto knife since I want to emulate BJDs, in the sense that I want to change eyes and move them around. This one is on the tough side. These dolls have their eyes stuck, so I also need to open the sockets. Unfortunately, these eyes are damaged on the white area, so I won't be able to use them. He will be wearing similar ones instead. For those interested, these are 18mm in size. Next, I give a good scrub using a magic eraser with brush cleaner. Some people have suggested that I also use acetone or alcohol, and yes, those work. But I found that brush cleaner is stronger and makes the job easier. Just take in mind that this will be safe to use on materials that are rubbery or vinyl-like. Please never try it on ABS plastic such as the bodies, as it will melt it. Now we'll mix fabric softener on warm water, and we'll leave the head in for about 20 minutes. Then I will rinse it with water, but you can also add human hair conditioner if you want. Let it air dry for the night. This will make the hair softer, and will also get rid of any glue traces. He's all dry now, so I will cover the hair with plastic wrap and keep it in place using pins and tape. It is time to seal this head. Today was the perfect day, as the humidity was around 50%, which is unusually low for the area I live in. I found that for best results, you want to spray when humidity levels are below 70%, otherwise your sealing will flake or be shiny, which can perfectly ruin your progress. I give it two layers of Mr. Super Clear UV Cut Flat, and wait around 20 minutes between layers. 
The first thing I'll do will be to draw the lip crease. To fix my mistakes, I use a small brush with water. I want him to be smiling, so I will add tiny corners to the sides. Next, I will sketch the eyebrow placement using chalk pastels that I converted into dust using an exacto knife. You can see the faint area where they used to be placed, and they were pretty high in my opinion, so I will lower them, which will make him have more relaxed and natural look. I use a needle eraser to give them a proper shape and make a sponges to soften them up a bit. I save my progress by sealing it a third time with MSC. Since he's a boy, his face up will rely more on lines than on blushing. So it's important that we get the acrylic details right. Using black paint with a drop of retarder and a drop of additive fluid, I paint in the eyelids, eyebrows, and facial hair. To make the lines fainter, I used a bit of water as well.
Now that the black lines are done, I proceed with another layer of sealant and the blushing. I don't give male dolls crazy colors, just neutral tones to make them look natural. I wanted the upper lip to be slightly darker and more defined than the lower one. I use different brushes like small felt ones for details and medium round ones for bigger areas such as cheeks and the ears.
Once the blushing is done, I seal once again my progress and give the final acrylic details. I wanted to draw the lip lines, and I wanted to retouch some of the black as it faded a bit with all the sealing layers. After the final layer of sealant, I apply varnish gloss mixed with water in equal proportions. Since he's a boy, I don't want his lips to be super glossy. I also give some life to his hands by applying two layers of blush. Just like his head, I previously prepared the surface by cleaning it with alcohol and then seal it with two layers of MSC. Then I add details with a brown watercolor pencil and a creamy color acrylic. 
I was thinking of giving him nail polish, but I changed my mind and just gave him natural looking fingernails. I also add gloss mix with water for the final touch. And this is what his head looks like. To join the head and the body, I use a hair dryer on the neck hole until it's soft enough. I cover the hair and the face up, as heat can burn the hair and also react with the MSC. And our gentleman is all done. It's hard to dress this type of male dolls, as regular one third clothing is very big on them, so I will make him wear loose female clothing. I know this sounds like a terrible idea, but believe me, it doesn't look too bad. I've been asked several times what I use to place the eyes and close the head, and I just use putty, but other good replacement can be silicone earplugs. Just use whatever sticky material you can find. Now, let's see the before and after. Like always, what bothers me the most about these dolls is the dead center eyes. The utterly defined red lips are not as crass as that deer in the headlights there. As you can see, he's wearing a yellow sweater and jogging pants that were meant to be for a female doll, but I don't think they look bad on him. What do you think of this outcome? I'm going to be honest and say that I was utterly delighted with this purchase because he looked really bad on the AliExpress site, and deep in my heart I knew he had potential. He has sweet round features and looks like such a gentle soul. I also wanted to say that if you want to learn French, or just want to listen to a sweet lady reviewing makeup products and perfumes, please visit my dear cousin's Marylicious channel. I always look forward to her videos, and I like playing them in the background and relax. I hope you will be also enthralled by her charm. The link to her channel will be down in the description. I hope that you liked this video and found it somewhat useful. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.